shouldn't be here. It's like, um, imagine, um, you know those dice uh, that they throw in casinos? Oh, uh, you shouldn't be nodding. You know, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> We've seen it on TV, right? You know, the dice they throw in the casinos that have six sides on them, right? Imagine a die that doesn't have six sides. Imagine it has 1,000 sides, this great big giant die that has 1,000 sides on it, all kinds of little sides on it. And all the sides but one are red. All the sides are red, but there's one little tiny side that's green. But all the rest of them are red. And you take this great big giant die, and you roll it down the hallway, and it rolls and rolls and rolls. And when it finally stops, the green side is the one that comes up. You would suspect that thing was rigged, right? That's exactly what the creation of the universe is like. All the odds are against life ever happening. Infinitesimally small likelihood that life would develop. And sure enough, that's what did. That's what happened. And you have every reason to suspect that somebody is behind it, and this thing is rigged. It's not me talking. This is the scientist. There's a guy who won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2020 named Roger Penrose. And he developed a number that's now called the Penrose number in which he calculated the likelihood of all the different variables being exactly right at the beginning of the universe for life to develop. All the, all the variables that could have been off by just a little bit, he calculated it down, and he said the odds of life developing, the odds against life developing are... Uh, one out of 10 to the 10th power to the 123rd power. Now, to give you a sense for what that number is, that is more atoms than exist in the universe. It's literally physically impossible to write the number down because we would run out of atoms before we got to the end of the number just writing it out. That's how big that number is. The odds of life developing are one out of that number. The, the modern scientific community is radically shocked by the theological implications of what science itself says. 